Hey guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to upload images using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to click Choose Files, select all of the images that we want, click Open, and we're going to display them on the screen like this. All right, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, guys, before we get started, I want to be clear that we're not going to be uploading these images onto a database or somewhere like AWS. We're only going to be uploading these images and displaying them on the front end. Now, some of you might be thinking that's not very useful. Well, that's actually not true, because if you have an application where you have the user upload images, you want to be able to show the user the images that they just uploaded. That way it creates a, a better user experience for the user. OK. So this is uh, one side of the equation. The other side of the equation is to actually upload them on the back end. For this video, we're just going to be uploading the images on the front end. OK. All right. And also, I'm going to keep things very simple here. That way I don't confuse you guys with anything. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right. The first thing we're going to do is create a label. And this is going to be for the files. And here we're just going to output select multiple files of course the user has the option of only selecting one file if they want but now they know that they can select multiple files all right let's create the input that is going to go along with that label and we're going to change this from text to file all right we're also going to give this an id of file so we can access this on with javascript and we also have to indicate that we want to allow for multiple files to be uploaded. And one final thing, we're going to use accept to accept certain kind of images. For this example, we're going to be allowing the user to upload JPEG, PNG and JPG files. All right. So we're going to type in image and JPEG comma image PNG comma image dot JPG. All right, and finally, we're going to be outputting these images onto the screen. So I'm going to be creating an element with the name of output, and I'm going to give this an ID of result. All right, and that's going to be it for the HTML. All right, for the CSS, we're going to keep things very simple. So let's get access to the result, which is basically just a container that is going to hold all of the images. All we're going to do here is use display flex. So these images are going to be aligned in a row. Let's use gap of 10 pixels to separate these images. And let's also give it a, a little bit of padding on the bottom and the top, just 10 pixels. And we're going to create a selector for it this class that we're going to call thumbnail which we're going to create dynamically with javascript but we're going to go ahead and add the features of that in here and we're actually going to keep this very simple this is just going to indicate the height of the images okay so all we have to do is just set a height right and i'm going to go with 192 um that's just by design you can go ahead and go with a different height if you want to all right and that's it for the css all right, and now we have gotten to the meat of the project. The first thing we want to do here is check for when the user uploads images. So to do this, we're going to do document query selector. And we gave that input field an ID of files. Let's add an event listener. And this is going to be a change event. All right, at this point, we want to check if the user has a browser that supports the file API, which is the API that we're going to need to be able to read these images. So to do this, we're going to create an if statement and we're going to check if the user's browser has all of these requirements. All right. If they do not have a browser that has all of this or that do, does not support the file API, then we're going to alert them. Your browser 
does not support the file API. All right. But if they do, then we want to grab all of these files and store them in a variable. So we're going to store them in this variable called files, and this is how we're going to grab them. All right, let me do a console log here so you can see what we have so far. All right, actually, let me go back over here and we're going to right click and open with live server. All right, let's choose the files that we want. I'm going to select those two. I'm going to right click inspect uh, console and this is what it returned this file list here and notice that it has the two images that we just uploaded. All right, so far so good. Let's go back over here. Let's delete this console log. And at this point, we also want to get access to the uh, element that we created that we gave an idea of uh, result. This is where the images are going to go. So we're going to do document, query selector, and we give that an idea of result. All right, now we're going to create a for loop that is going to go through each one of our images and display them on the screen. So let's create a for loop here. So if this is less than files.length, then we're going to do I++. All right, at this point, we want to check again if the user has uploaded a valid image. So we're going to use an if statement that is going to check if this particular element contains the word image. Um, if it does not, then we're going to use continue. So continue is going to not go forward here with this for loop. It's just going to stop there and it's going to go over to the next. Um, it's going to increase this by one. It's going to go over to the next element to see if that's an image. All right. So if we get to this point here, that means that the user did upload an image. All right. So at this point, we want to read that particular image and we're going to do that by using the file reader here. Let me go ahead and I'll put this as well so you can see what that does. All right, and I return this. Uh, notice that for the result here, it returned null. And the reason that it returned null is because we have to add this line of code as well. So we're going to use read as data URL. Um, we're going to pass it this particular index. All right, and let's check it again. All right, and notice that now the result has this uh, very long string here. Um, we're going to need this string in order to display this image on the screen. All right, let's get rid of this console log here. All right, so at this point, we're going to add an event listener to this particular image. Um, so we're going to do pick reader at event listener, and this is going to be a load event. Right in here, we're going to grab the information from this particular image with event target. All right. And at this point, we want to create a div that we're going to add onto this output basically container that we created there, All right? So let's create a div. We're going to do document, create element, and this is going to be a div. And the we're going to set the inner HTML of that div equal to, if I can get these back ticks here, we're going to create an image in here. So we're going to do IMG. We're going to give this a class name of thumbnail and if you remember in the css we gave this property of height to this thumbnail here so that's going to be this one here all right we're going to set the src equal to the data uri that i just showed you in the console log so to do that we're going to do pick file result all right, and that's going to set the image for us. 
that's going to make it display on the screen and we also want to grab the name of the particular file so we do pick file and then name and let's not forget to close this here all right and the last thing we need to do is append this particular div onto the output container that we created right and that should do it so let's try this again hopefully everything worked correctly let's add a bunch of images and there we go so that's how you use the input field to upload multiple images at the same time all right that's going to be it for this video please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching